This is 2D Design with Rob Colvin. We are working on our form assignment using the line. I'm going to show you how to create this sphere using a clipping mask. I have opened up my sketch in Photoshop. I will show you where to go from here. I want to open a new file, so go to File and New, or Command N, or Control N. I want this to be in inches. I want it to be 5 by 5, and I want it 150 pixels an inch. I want it in grayscale since it's black and white. I'll click OK. I will go back to my sketch. I'll do Command A to select it all. That's Control A on your PC. I'll do Command C or Control C on your PC. So I just copied it. Go back here. I will do Command V to paste or Control V. Now I'm going to do Command T to transform or Control T. I'm going to press Shift and hold and pull a corner. The reason I press Shift and hold is it keeps my proportions right. Now I'm going to move it in the center here and press enter. Now I will create my layer for my value scale. Each one of your sketches will have a value scale at the bottom. Your value scale is five inches wide, which is the width of the image, and three quarters of an inch tall. Okay, you want to select Get your marquee tool in order to do this. You want your rectangular marquee tool. Then I'm going to click and drag at the top of the image and make it five inches wide and I can go to 0.75. Then I'll pull that down. And I will make a new layer. I'm going to press G for the paint bucket or you can get the paint bucket manually. If your paint bucket is not showing it might be hidden underneath the gradient tool. So click on the gradient tool and select paint bucket. Make sure you have white on your foreground color and I'm going to click in that space. Now you can see I have a white area there in that layer. Now I want to choose my sphere layer because I want to adjust it so I want to do command D to deselect and I'm going to get my move tool by pressing V and nudge it towards the center. I want to go back to my value scale layer and I want to make a layer on top of it. And I'm going to press option and I'm going to hover between those two. See the symbol I get, that arrow with the box. If I click on that, I get a clipping mask. Then I want to double click on the lettering and give these a title. Now I'm going to go over here, I'm going to press X and I'm going to switch back to black in my foreground. Now I'm going to press B for brush. So I want to have the layer mask selected. You'll see what I can do with it. It only lets me paint or draw in that area. I'll do Command Z to take that away. So if I go back to the foundation layer, and draw. My lines will go everywhere, so the mask keeps me within the area I want to stay. And we are going to create a layer mask for each part of this image. So I'm going to press M for the marquee tool. I'm going up here and clicking on it, and I'm going to get the elliptical marquee, and I'm going to make a shadow shape. So it's oval. So now I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to press G for the paint bucket. I will change my foreground color back to white by pressing X to switch. I will fill the selection with white and Command D to deselect or Control D. Now I'll make a new layer. I'm going to press Option on my Mac or Alt on my PC. I will hover between those two layers to get a clipping mask symbol and click. Now I have a clipping mask. I will double click on the lettering and title the layers. I will press M for the marquee tool and I will press shift and hold as I drag and I get a perfect circle. I will make a new layer, press G for the paint bucket, make sure my color is white and fill my selection. Command D to deselect. Now I'm going to repeat what I've done, create a new layer, press Option or Alt between that layer, click, and title those layers. Now I will turn off my sketch layer and my background layer, and you can see all the layers I will use to do the lines. Save this as a PSD, 
because we will use it three times for this assignment. Once for crosshatch, once for stipple, and once for random mark. Watch the other videos about the line work.